son of Adam, king of the Yehudim, prince of peace, Messiah, Jesus. You may know me as this, but my father gave me my name and my purpose to exalt him, further his kingdom and warn his people. My father is the greatest of all time, all powerful, almighty, everlasting to everlasting. My father bends time and creates life and speaks into existence. He is the one and almighty Elohim, God of Israel, creator of the world and savior of all, Yahweh. I am Messiah Homashiach, son of David, son of Abraham, friend of Elohim. I have a mission, so as to magnify my father in heaven. He's given me a name, it means your saves. I am Yehusha and this is my story. A voice came from the heavens saying, You are my son, the beloved, in whom I delight. My mission is to guide the people to my father, remind them of his commandments and lead them to righteousness. I had people around me who did the same. This is the calling of the troops. As I was saying, we must repent of our wicked ways. We've conformed to the evils of society and lost our way. We are seeing evil as good, but that shouldn't be so. We should be a set-apart nation. Sounds legit. Shalom, my brother. Ah, the Lamb of Elohim, who takes away the sin of the world has arrived. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Ha, huh, my brother Yohanan. <laughs> Is this the son of Yosef, of Eli, of Matayahu, of Eliwai, of Malachi, of Yana, of Yosef, all the way down to Methuselah, of Anok, of Yered, of Mahalel, of Canaan, of Enosh, of Seth, of Adam? Of Elohim. Did you have to name my entire genealogy like that? <laughs> it's only right, my brother. What are you now? 20, 22? I'm almost 30. No, you can't be almost 30. You don't look it at all. Look at us get up there in age. <laughs> no, man. You talk as if I'm old. <laughs> old in wisdom. I'm looking forward to being immersed by you, master. No, no, no. I'm looking forward to being immersed by you, my friend. Hey, wait. I need you to immerse me and uh, you're coming to me to immerse you. But your sandals, I am not able to even fit them. My friend, let it be so. We all need to fulfill righteousness. I understand that, but I'm not worthy, you know? Come on now. Okay, okay, okay. Let us go into the water. A message from above. This is my son, the beloved, in whom I delight. Prepare to journey to go to the wilderness to stay for 40 days. Keep guard for you will be tried by adversaries. Yes, father. My brother Yohanan, thank you. It was my pleasure. Ever been to the wilderness? You know it! <laughs> I grew up there. Believe me, you will love it. Haha, <laughs> I know. The next day. Repent! Do better! Change from your dirty ways! Get in this water and become clean! Purified like crystal, clear spring water! Come on now! You should listen to him. He speaks sense. <laughs> hey everybody! This is who I've been talking about. Remember I said after me comes a man who has come before me. I did not know him, but all of this work I've been putting in, immersing you all with water, is so that he is revealed 
to you, Israel. Let me tell you the story. I saw the spirit coming down from heaven like a dove. That's how I knew he is immersed in the set apart spirit and is the son of Elohim. Bless you, my brother. All praises to the Most High Elohim. I'll be on my way. The next day. I'm just trying to figure out if my brother Simon and I caught two fish and I catch three more. How many fish do we have? We have five fish. No, I have five fish. You have zero. Aren't you supposed to be learning how to share? He can't help that fish run from him. Fish don't run on tree. No, but you better. Just chill, man. So we are throwing stones now. Which one of you don't have sin? See, the Lamb of Elohim has arrived again. Ray! <laughs> Despite the stone throwing, I have to agree, fish don't run. How? I give you one even better. If we have two fish and five loaves of bread, how many people can we feed? Maybe two or three. It depends will Johan and be eating with us. You have jokes. Ha ha he does, but you see soon enough, with Elohim, anything is possible. If you have faith as small as a mustard seed, ask in prayer and keep Elohim's commandments. The smallest thing can produce bounty harvest for many. Think about it. I'll take my leave now. Did you hear him speak? He must have wisdom. Yeah, I want some of that wisdom myself. I want to follow him. Well, who's stopping you? Thanks, teacher. Come on, bro. You going to come out or are you playing peekaboo? Not peekaboo. Rabbi, we just want to know where you're staying. Uh, that's not stalkerish at all, but let's go and see. Yes, Rabbi. Okay. So we talked and drank until the tenth hour of the day, then Andre said. Rabbi, your wisdom is unmeasurable. Thank you for dropping this knowledge. Can I bring my brother Simon so that he can understand too? The one who can't catch fish. Ha ha sure, bring Simon along. Yo, this fish hook has got to be worth something. I didn't pay half a shekel for nothing. I wonder if the fish will come if I season the worms. Simon, we found the Messiah. The one who is anointed. Come let me show you. Really? I gotta see it with my own eyes. It's true! He's from Nazareth! Haha <laughs> Nazareth. What comes from Nazareth except goat's milk and sparkling water? Come look! Hey Andre, wait up! Whoa, sorry! Coming through! Whoa, whoa. whoa excuse oh no, me, my oranges. Bro, since when were you a track star? I had to help her pick up her oranges, that's why you beat me. I got Simon. I can rest now. Shalom, Rabbi. Shalom, oh, Andre, are you about to pass out? I have water for you both if you need it. Ah, uh, no, thank you. I'm good, but Andre needs a medal. He doesn't even run this fast for our mama's fresh baked bread. Aha. Uh -huh. So you are Simon, son of Yuna. How about I call you Kifa? Which means rock or stone. Is it because I was slower than Andre? Ha <laughs> ha no, you see. Sit, let's talk. The next day. Shalom, how much for the oranges? A tenth a shekel, the price went up a bit. Two men flew through here like doves the other day and knocked the stand. Men flying hop. Like you wouldn't believe. You'd be surprised. Belief cures and belief destroys. Let me get three please. Yes master. It's on the house. Bless you, 
Have you seen a man named Philip? Did someone call my name? Philip, how long have you been following me, got me running around here looking for you? Eh, not long. Oh, all right, well follow me some more. I have places to go, people to see, and you can accompany me. Me? Say no more, let me just get my stuff. Stuff. Do I have stuff? How are we going to go all over the country with a bunch of stuff? All right, all right, all right, you're the master, what about lunch? Go, meet me back here at hour seven. Deal. These people and their possessions. Meanwhile. Are you ready to make those arrows fly? The competition starts in 10 minutes for a grand prize of 20 pieces of silver. I'm telling you my mother hooked me up with these bows, they're quality, we can't miss. They also look rigged and bent. We can't miss because we would be cheating. It's only by a couple degrees, no one would be the wiser. Nathanel, can you prove it? Well, yes, as a matter of fact, I can. Nathaniel, look, the bow inspection is already done. We just trade these and they'll never know what happened. I'll pass, y'all trippin'. Forget you, let's go. Well, there goes my seven pieces of silver. Mm-hmm. Well, that was noble of him. Time to ready your bow and arrows and shoot. And team two wins. Congratulations. That's us. Hey Nathaniel, what did we tell you? We won. You should have listened. We'll share some of the prize money with you though. No, y'all can keep it. See you. Whatever. More for us. Let's go get some new stuff. There they are. We inspected your bow and arrows again and they were rigged. Oh no, run. Get them. Meanwhile. Sai, not enough to buy food to eat. Your Nathanol what's up? Nothing. What's going on? You hear about two archery men running through the street just now, they got tackled by the soldiers and dragged. No, that missed my news channel. Then you need to change your channel. Haha, <laughs> noted. In better and more important news, we found the one who Moses and the prophets wrote about in the Torah. Yosha son of Yosef from Nazareth. Nazareth? What comes out of Nazareth except thieves and traitors of God's people? Your mother, her just playing. Bro follow me, you see for yourself. Haha <laughs> whatever, this I got to see. Would you look at this, truly an Israelite who tells no lies, no deceit, is pure. I'm flattered, but um, how do you know me? Before Philip went to get you, I watched you under the fig tree. A bent arrow could have afforded you food, though it looks like jail time for your friends. Ha! Rabbi, Rabbi, sovereign of Israel, you are truly the son of Elohim. Ha ha you say this cause I said I saw you under a fig tree. Bear with me, you'll see greater things than that. The heavens will open, and the messengers of Elohim will rise and fall on the son of Adam. Walk with me and let's talk. Elohim said, it is not good for the man to be alone, I am going to make a helper for him. At midnight there was a shout, here's the bridegroom. Come out to meet him.
There are cultures and traditions that my people keep. One that is fun to celebrate is the marriage of husband and wife. This is a story of our culture and my miracle of saving a feast. <laughs> Haha, <laughs> really para. You're so silly. Even sillier than gnome putting flowers in my hair. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> hey, you can't blame me, it's fun. How cute. <laughs> <laughs> Look at them, some things never change. Haha, I think it's time. Sometime later. So, son, I see you're still playing with flowers. Haha, I'm not playing with flowers, I was just trying to attract bees. Hmm, right, sure you were. Her father, and I think it's time you made her wife. What do you think? Yes, Oba, I think so too. What would you like to give as the bride price for your dowry? Butter the cow and a whole lot more. Great, let's discuss so we can draw up the Kotuva marriage agreement. <laughs> Meanwhile. Odina, how was your day? It was fun, Gnome made me laugh. Speaking of Gnome, we've been watching you from when you were kids. You've both grown up. Don't you think it's time to talk marriage? Yes, I think so. Let it be a marriage that Elohim will bless. Sometime later. Shalom. He's ready. Good. So is she. Come in, let us review this contract my son. I want to hear all the promises of how you protect my daughter. She also says she wants para the cow. No pressure. <laughs> oh well, we've reached an agreement. Come Adina, where is your mother, let us toast. Time for immersion. We do this immersion to represent spiritual cleansing. Because marriage is honorable in the eyes of Elohim. Yes, yes father. father. Sometime later. Shalom, listen up everyone. Thank you for joining. Our daughter is now a bride in waiting, Gnome and Adoni are getting married. They are engaged now. Let's celebrate this union blessed by Elohim. I will go to prepare a place for us to love. I'll be gone for a while, but here is a gift to know that I am coming back for you. Thank you. I'll be waiting. Can't wait to see it. You're welcome. I'll see you soon, so wait for me. Time to sign the Ketuva, the marriage agreement. No, I know you will provide for our daughter. Congratulations, my darlings. Time to get to work on building our house. Oh, I'm tired. No, it's only been two weeks. You don't even have the windows in. Keep working, son. Yes, sir.
Sister, what do you think about this color for the dress? No, next one. Okay, what about this? Yes. I think it makes your eyes pop. Me too. Yes, my dear, that's a winner. You look beautiful on your wedding day. Thanks, mom. How long does it take to build a house? Sometimes it can take a year. So long. Yes, so always have your oil lamp ready because you'll never know when he will come. How nice. I'm patiently waiting for my turn. Yes, ma'am, Ima. Now for the jewelry. Meanwhile, I put in a lot of work and sweat for many months, so this has to be the finished house. Congrats, my son. Time to get your bride. Yes. Let's go get my bride. Rally the boys. Are you ready to do this? Literally, born ready. Let's go see and find out. Look, there's the light. The bridegroom is coming. The bridegroom is coming. I hear something. It's gnome. Are you ready? I'm as ready as I'll ever be. I have my oil lamps ready. Oh Adani, oh Adani I have come to rescue my long waiting bride from the fiery dragon. He plays all day, I declare. Haha, <laughs> who is it? Haha <laughs> the husband to be of course, who else? He my husband, mm, I like how that sounds. I'll open the door. Welcome my son. Gnome you're here. I went to prepare a place, build a house, planted a garden and set up shop all for you. Time to make this official. The wedding feast is near. Yay, let's go. Adoni, I promise to provide for you to protect you and to care for you all of our days as Elohim has commanded. With stage 2 now complete, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Let's rejoice in this new marriage that Elohim will bless. In other words, we are married now, let's celebrate. Oh, there is the party. Let's feast. Didn't you just eat? Hey, wait for me. Shadow, my brothers, glad you could make it. Of course. May Elohim bless your union. Thank you. You're welcome. Look at my baby. You got married. You are so beautiful. May Elohim bless your marriage in love and truth. Haha, <laughs> thanks, Mama. We all knew this day would come. But so soon, you and Dad trained me for this. A perfect match ever since we wore diapers. Haha, <laughs> that may or may not be true. It's only right that we know the man, that you will be happy together, and he is honorable. Are you happy? Yes, Mama, I am. 
Good, remember you are gentle and wise, and you keep your household together. You are his helper, that's what Elohim said when he made woman from man's rib. Man and woman complement each other. Are we good? Yes, mama. Thank you. I'm going to go dance some more. Okay, my love. Have fun. Oh, how beautiful. Um, so do you want to tell her we're out of wine or me? We are out of what now? You know what? Forget I said anything. I see just the man I needed to see. He can fix it. What is he going to do? Make a store run? We don't have the money to buy more. We planned for only seven days of celebration. <laughs> I got you. Oh, hello, my darling son, who I love so much. Ho, ho, right. Hi, mama. Enjoying the party? Yes, ma'am. The bride and bridegroom make a special pair. I love the union. Good. We wouldn't want to cause chaos for all these people. And how exactly would that happen? Well, they've run out of wine. Woman, what does that have to do with me and you? My time isn't here yet. Let them drink water. It's healthy for their bones. Water? Who has a wedding with just water? Come on now, I know you can do it. You, servants, please, do whatever he says to you to fix this problem. Thank you, bye. Ha ha, my mother. We do what she says. Please go get those jugs and fill them up with water. All right. Thank you. Now draw it out and take it to the head of the feast. Yes, sir. Hope you are enjoying the party. Here is a delivery for you. Do I need more water? It's a gift. Let me see. Oh, yes, this is a gift. Where is my son? My son, you're slick. At every wedding, everyone puts out the good wine at the beginning and once it's gone, they bring the poor stuff. You've saved the best for last. Haha, I have no idea what you speak of. It would have already been drunk if I would have known. If not you, then who? This is just the beginning of the signs I did in Kana of Gala to show my father's power. I'll be back for more. And he was in the wilderness for forty days, being tempted by the devil. He was with wild animals, and the angels kept him company. I went into the wilderness where all the wild animals are and didn't eat for forty days and nights. But throughout my journey, something was following me. This looks like a good place to get some water. Hmm, I feel something following me. Forgive me, you're the master from Elohim. You're forgiven? You see, I've been looking for an answer to a problem I'm having and it's making me quick to anger. I can fix that. Let's walk and talk. So we walked and talked and many followed. <laughs> This looks like a good spot for evening prayer. My father which are in heaven, I approach your throne to exalt you. Sometime later.
sounds like the box are making music. What are you gonna sing? I figured not, wouldn't be better than me though. My vocals are on point. Ho oh, bet, can I get that seat though, these bones need some rest. Thank you. You look familiar, do you know your honor? Yes I thought so. Time to sleep, keep watch, make sure a bird doesn't eat you. Good night. What are you, my personal alarm clock? Good morning to you too, it's sunrise already. Time for morning prayer. Good morning Father, bless you for waking me up this morning. For all that you are, your majesty and greatness. Amen. How <coughs> did you say your prayers to? Hello, what's the matter? Master, forgive my forwardness, but my daughter has fallen ill and there is nothing we can do. Take me there, hurry. She's in there. The master has arrived. Let me take a look at her. What happened? My daughter, you are well. I am so glad you are okay. Master, I am in your debt. Thank you for saving our cub. I am glad I could help but come on, you know it's not me. It's all about my father. Give him the praise. You're right. Give Yah the glory and praise for he's healed our daughter. Plane is fun but it's getting late, it's time for me to leave soon. Master stay the night. We can watch over you if you sleep here. Thanks, I'm pretty tired. You all have a lot of energy. Good night. Good night. Get him. No. No. No, no. Master. Are you alright? Yes, of course. I only need to talk to my father. I'm going for a walk. Would you want me to accompany you? No, I'm fine. Thanks though. Alright, safe journeys. My father in heaven, I know what this is. But am I ready for what is to come? Please, Elohim, give me strength to overcome and not have my flesh distract me from the mission you've assigned to me. Make me strong, lend me strength. Nearing the end of 40 days in the wilderness. This looks like a nice place to sit. There is that eerie feeling again. Why, hello there. Oh, it's you I've been sensing this entire time. Yes, I have been watching you for a while, Yahusha, son of Elohim. How do you know my name? Who are you? Let's say, a friend for now. What's your name? My name? Hmm, you can call me Ifa. Ifa, what do you want? 
Yeah, I guess you could say. I want to help you. You see, I have noticed you haven't eaten anything since you've come to this desolate place. Why don't I offer you a suggestion? See that stone over there? Yes, that stone. Turn it to bread. Why should I turn a stone to bread? <laughs> well, I think your stomach answered a question for you. I know you're hungry, and you have the power to turn stone into bread. Weren't you the one who turned water to wine at the wedding some time ago? Hmm? Yes, what of that? Well, my friend, it's only a suggestion. You are hungry, aren't you? Go on. Satisfy your hunger. Turn that stone to bread. I know you can do it. I don't have to prove anything to anyone but my father. What? Are you worried I might tell who you are? Yahusha, my friend. No need to worry about minor things. I won't tell a soul about your identity. Your little secret, it's safe with me. Since you are the son of Elohim, you can turn this stone to bread, can't you? Or are you a fake, a mere imitator of the Messiah? Come on, prove that you are the son of Elohim. Aren't you the chosen one? Show me your power, the one that the prophets of old were talking about. Let me tell you this, it's written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of Elohim. Why are you being shy? We both know you can do it. Just do it already. Don't make me repeat myself. All I need is my father's words to survive. Speaking of surviving... Come with me. Let me show you something. Look. Look at the city of Jerusalem. Look how close it is. That doesn't look close to me. Didn't the scripture say that Elohim shall command his messengers for things concerning you? So they will lift you up on their hands so that you don't break your feet against any stone. Because you're Elohim's son, throw yourself down this cliff. You have nothing to be afraid of. Your father, yes, he'll protect you. It seems you're smarter than you look. That is true, the scriptures did say that, but it has also been written, do not try your Elohim. I'm sure of it. I know he'll protect you. Come on now, Yahusha. How about you try it? <laughs> Quite hilarious, my boy. But I'll pass on this one. You see, I have another thing to show you. You're the master. The ruler. I'm sure you love this one. Look. Look at all this. See all this, the esteem and beauty of the world. I can give you all the wealth and riches in the world. Any amount of gold you want. You can have it all. The world can be yours, my dear boy. You can be king of all and rule this world. I can have all the money in the world. Yes, all this can be yours. You can rule this world. I own it and can give it to whomever I wish. And what do I need to do to be ruler of the world? <laughs> Nothing special. 
just bow down. Worship me. Yes. Worship me. Never. I will never bow down to you and worship you. It has been written, you shall worship your Elohim, and him alone you shall serve. And that's what I do. What? You would refuse all this wealth and power? Of course. My father made everything, and I live only for him, I worship only Elohim. Get behind me, Satan. Curse you, Yahusha! You haven't seen the last of me. <sighs> if people aren't careful, they can fall into temptation. Worship Elohim alone, put no other gods before him. Not things, riches, or power. Sometime later. Good job, Yosha, son of Adam, you have passed the test of temptation. All praises to the Most High. Hallelujah. Let us keep you company, iron sharpens iron and you've earned it. Thank you. I continue to grow stronger in my father. He made a whip of cords and drove them out of the set-apart place with the sheep and the ox and poured out the coins and overturned the tables. I traveled a lot from place to place. On one occasion, I traveled to Kephanoam with my mother and brothers and taught ones. Then I went up to Yerushalayim for Passover was near. Is it just me or is today hotter than normal? You're not wrong. Where did this heat come from? Mother, you're getting wrinkled. <laughs> what? Not with this pretty brown skin, my dear. Try again. <laughs> Would everyone like to get something to drink? Yes, what's a good place? I know a place we can go. Come on, follow me. We're here. It's been a while since I came to Kefonom. It looks different than what I can remember. What kind of place is this? Don't be like that. They serve the best food in all Kefonom. Get him. No. No. Husha, what's the matter, my son? You seem bothered. It's nothing more. No need to worry. Are you sure? What are you talking about? I'm fine. Are you sure you're doing all right? Are you sick? What are you talking about sick? He can't get sick. He's too perfect to get sick. Do you think so, brother? Of course, we all know this. Well, if there is something wrong, you know you can always talk to me. Your mama. Thanks, Ma. You're amazing, my friend. You're always calm. Is there anything that can get you upset? How we see, time to head to Yerushalayim for Passover. Husha, I got a joke for you. What is it? Why didn't they play cards on the ark? Cause they didn't have paper. No, because Noah was standing on the deck. Ha ha wow. You and your jokes bro. You know I got them. 
Haha, <laughs> let's catch up with Ima. Let's go. My sons, your dad wasn't far behind, so if he asks where I am, let him know I'm going to find Elisheba and try to stay out of trouble. Yes, Ma. I'm going to go to the temple to pray. Don't worry, I won't get left behind this time. Thank you. Bye. Um, this looks a lot different than I remember as well. Let's go see what's going on. What in the world is this? Fresh bread, get your fresh bread. The priest prayed over it, I promise. Two for one sale. I'll take some, how much? That'll be a 25th shekel. Hey, my wallet is gone. Not my problem, honey. Move along, you're holding up my customers. Fine, your bread is fake anyway. Oh, really? Wanna see how it feels? Move along, I said. Go. Doves for sale, doves for sale. Take away your sin for the price of a shekel. High quality sacrifices right here. Hey, how much is it done? The price depends on how much sin you have. Huh. Then I should get a discount. I saw you stealing from that man's pocket over there, so that will be enough to afford you one dove for three shekels. Three shekels? That's expensive. Is it going to sacrifice itself? The price is the price. Do you want it or not? Fine, I will take it. I'm just going to steal again tomorrow. It's what I do. Well, that means more money for me then. The more sin you have, the more doves I sell. Thanks man, see you tomorrow. What's going on here? Do you know what you're doing? Do you have any idea where you are? Yeah, we are at the Tuesday market. Do you know where you are? Let's find out. Hey those are my doves. This is my father's house a place for worship and praise for my father. This isn't a place to be selling and trading. Those were my sheep. Does this look like a mall to you? This is my father's house. Everyone get out. Hey! Under whose authority do you have to send us out? This is our livelihood. What sign do you have to show such authority? Oh I give you a sign alright. Destroy this temple and in three days I will raise it up. Ha! Huh. Get your facts straight. It took 46 years to build this temple and you plan to rebuild it in how many days? Three? Did he say three days? Is that even possible? He must not be right upstairs. I don't play about my father's business. After, many people believed in the miracles they saw but I did not commit, as I knew their true intentions. I hear you need healing. 
my son, you healed me. I can offer you much silver if you tell me how you did it. Faith is worth more than silver and gold. Sometime later. What's up bro? I heard there was chaos in the temple, you wouldn't have had anything to do with it now would you? You know I represent my father, don't start no chaos and it won't be no chaos. But we all know the heart of man. Yep it was him. Whatever, I'm going to get some air, good night. Rabbi, we know you are a teacher from Elohim, an ordinary man can't do all the miracles you did except El is with him. My friend, let me tell you this, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of Elohim. Come on, don't make these jokes, we know that's impossible. How can a man be born when he is old? That just doesn't make sense. Are you saying that a man can enter his mother a second time? That's not impossible for my father, but that's not what I meant. What I'm actually saying is except a man be born of the water and of the spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Have you noticed how the wind blows, you can hear it but you can't tell where it came from or where it is going, that's what it means to be born of the spirit? I don't think I am following you. Really? I thought you were a teacher of Israel, you don't know this. I told you earthly things. And you don't believe, so what's the point in telling you heavenly things, no man went to heaven except he that came from heaven. Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, and so the Son of Man will be lifted up. If anyone believes in him, they should not perish but live forever. Elohim loved the word that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not die but have everlasting life. Elohim did not send his Son to condemn the word, but that the word be saved, those who believe in the Son of Man are not judged, but those who don't are judged already. Men love darkness more than they love light because their actions were evil. But anyone that does truth comes to the light and his deeds are shown in Elohim. Right, well it's getting late, I best be going. Look who's back. Do you ever sleep? No. Well I had an interesting talk with a man just now, let me tell you all about it. Hallelujah! Thank you for watching. Many thanks to those who donate to make these shows possible. Parents, if you like these shows, please consider supporting at ancientpathadventures.com. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and follow us on social media at Ancient Path Adventures to keep up to date. We'll see you next time on Parables.